Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm doing a curly hair challenge collaboration with some fellow curly YouTubers. This collaboration will be with Curly Penny, Glamour Zen, India Batson, and Leah Aliana. All of these girls have a bunch of curly hair videos, beauty tutorials on their channel, and today we're challenging each other to try to do an entire curly hair routine for under $20. <gasps> this actually was a challenge. These curly hair products keep going up and 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 up in price. But we had to find some good ones on the low. Fortunately, I was able to find some affordable products. So after you watch my video, make sure you check out their videos below in the description box and see what curly hair products they found under $20. Now, I actually took this challenge one step further and made it a little bit more challenging for myself because I wanted to make sure to find products that still didn't have sulfates, parabens, or silicone. Those are three ingredients that I always try to avoid in my hair products, and I quickly realized that so many natural hair brands have silicone. Like, this was really a struggle. And this is how my shopping trip went. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Silicone. 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 Just says straight up silicone, not even dimethicone. Dimethicone. The only products that I've been able to find for this price range is Cantu. Cantu has it right on the front. No sulfates, silicones, parabens. And this is what I'm going to go with. I'm gonna get their conditioner. Oh my God, you better have shampoo, you better have shampoo, you better have shampoo. <gasps> is this the only one that's open? No, no. I don't think they have any more shampoo. Okay, I've made my decision. I'm going to get the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Hydrating Cream Conditioner, as well as the Palmer's Olive Oil Shampoo and the curl activator cream okay now that we are back from the store once again here are my products that I bought and I've got the receipt to prove I was in budget okay so I got it right here nineteen oh four that's what I'm talking about the Palmer shampoo was $5.39, the Cantu conditioner was $5.79, and the Cantu curl activator was $6.99. Booyah! So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied all these products. Let's wash this hair. So starting off with the shampoo, I got the Palmer's Olive Oil Formula. This is the smoothing shampoo for unruly frizz prone hair. The smell is just very like generic. It just smells like normal soap, like you might just find in a random bathroom or hotel. <laughs> um, but I mean, it does smell good. It doesn't have any sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, so that's great. And I also love that it had Jamaican black castor oil in it. 100% pure olive oil and vitamin E. Now let's grab our conditioner. This is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Sulfate Free Hydrating Cream Conditioner. This one smells like the normal yummy coconut smell that we're probably all used to. Now I will say that it did have an okay amount of slip, but I feel like I needed to add more to really get the tangles. So I did find myself applying a lot of conditioner to get the tangles, but it still eventually got the job done. And now for the styler. This is the Cantu Shea Butter Curl Activator Cream. This has the same similar smell, the same coconut smell that most natural products have. And I applied a very generous amount to my hair, but I learned that I didn't even have to put as much as I did. A little does go a long way, and I'm applying it to damp hair right out the shower. I do like to apply it all over my hair, and I rake it through and scrunch. This is all to help get the best curl definition. And as you can see, my curls already look very shiny. Today I let my curls just naturally air dry, but this is how it looked once it dried after a few hours. My curls were very soft, very bouncy, and had no crunch. 
And I'm back with my day two hair of only using the Curl Activator Cream. So I did use the Cantu Curl Activator on day one, as you saw, and then I used a little bit more to refresh today, and my hair still looks pretty darn fabulous. I love how this stuff gives you just the right amount of hold. So although it's a cream, it almost dries like a gel, but not as crunchy as a gel. So it gives you that little bit of a cast in the beginning of the day, and then it slowly wears out, giving you very soft, big, volumized curls. My curls are very defined, it's really containing the frizz, and it's giving me the volume that I really desire. I think it's great for all of us to know that there are some great products out there that will not damage your hair, that are valued at around $5. So now you have proof that no matter what your budget is, your curls can be popping. Yes, there are high-end products that work amazing, but there's also drugstore products that work amazing. It's just a matter of what you want, your preference, your budget, and your hair type. If you know some other brands that also have natural ingredients and are very affordable, please leave a comment down below so we all could help each other out. We all want to save some coins. Now that you've seen my curly hair products of choice, make sure you watch Curly Penny, Glamour Zen, India Batson, and Leah Aliana's videos so you can see what products they chose. All their videos will be below in the description box. Check out their videos, subscribe to their channels, and leave a comment letting them know that you came from Bianca Renee today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, Foundation Fridays on Friday and Curly Hair videos on Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more where that came from. Push that little bell so you're the first to know when I post a new video. You also can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee for daily curly hair tips. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.